Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T Man 978. Here's Gold Armor, Robots in Disguise, Warrior Class, Grimlock. Next to a Legends Class, Legions Class, Minicon, THS Convoy, and a Commander Class. No, this isn't the middle of the video. But sometimes you just gotta change things up. Anyway, here's a video I did of the pack. The standard, the packaging looks cheap and like a knockoff. Blah, blah, blah. This part of the review looks like a cheap knockoff because I'm doing it at work. Wasn't the packaging neat of Rooney? No, it sucks. Anyway, here is Gold Armor Grimlock. It's just basically warrior class Grimlock with a different face sculpt and different paint. Let me try to zoom in, as that seems to be the better idea right now. He basically has no mouth, no nose. Very reminiscent of Transformers that I animated. As you can see, he has a more G1 accurate color scheme, which is kind of cool. And you see, he does go well with those other robots while he's right here in his robot mode. But one thing I want to say right now, these things are cheap. Oh my God. Uh, oh, oh Lord. This will probably be my last Robots in Disguise figure. Unless I get that Japanese only leader class sort of Optimus Prime that they have in Because, man, these things, uh, they're just so cheap. The paint job they do, I mean, this is bare bones basic. He looks kind of all right in robot mode with just this little bit of paint. But it's just one step away from being McDonald's toys quality. Articulation, his head can rotate that far before it's hindered. Rotate that far. Arm can go out that much, which school can even go in. He has bicep swivel, a ratcheting elbow, which I'm shocked he has a ratcheting elbow on this cheap toy. The wrist can go in. These arms can come down, and now he has four arms. He can be, get some Goro action right there. No waste. Can kick that far out. Kick this far out to the side, which is very far. far. His knee bends that much which isn't really much at all and the toe can go down like this now he's kind of good I mean they hide this head away well but Di Dinobot oh sorry Grimlock always has a dinosaur head on his back now Grimlock in the R.I.D. cartoon I'm not too sure about I don't think he has the head back there but they try to even fill in this leg. Did they succeed? You be the judge of that. One thing I do see that's cool. His tail folds in right here. And they mold it in a fake tail right there. But it's hollow. So yeah. One of my main complaints. He's little. He, he goes with those little figures. But they don't have any paint on here. So yeah. If you want to, since they don't give him any weapons, I guess his alt mode gimmick is his weapon, which is boring as crap. He can still hold weapons from basically every other deluxe class Transformer toy line. So you can see him holding his sword, which is cool a little bit. Transformation. Flip this head. <laughs> Over top of his head. And now he gets all, he's already ready with his Halloween costume right now. Yeah. Anyway. Rotate the hands in right here. Rotate. The elbows around. Bring these arms forward a bit. Now. This guy has the most complicated transformation of any of these robots in disguise figures I've bought so far. Pull the tail down right there. And it might be a little bit difficult for kids because it's kind of difficult for me, to be honest. 
I don't know if you saw that, I slid these out and now they're just dangling. Clamp the legs together. Right here. Oh, come on. Clamp that together. Now, swing these up, swing this up. Clamp this together. Push this forward and bring it up like that. Separate here on both sides. Bring this down. They kind of peg into his legs right there. And now he is a dinosaur-ish thingy. Or maybe he's like, <laughs> excuse me, a Godzilla. I don't know. And he has this gimmick that I already showed off right now. And I'm showing it off again. Me Grimlock. Blah, blah, blah. Me Grimlock. Here's his Dinobot head. Let's zoom in on that. He has lackluster repainted red eyes. Because I'm pretty sure the whole thing isn't supposed to be red. Because <laughs> paint up there. This paint you saw in the robot mode. But yeah. This is way more gold than the actual plastic here. It's gold, but it's kind of orangey at the same time. Gold painted toes. You see this in the front in his robot mode, and they didn't paint that, which is unfortunate. The hand blends in with the side of his leg, so that's cool. And one thing I do have to hand it to them with is this is one of the only T Rexy Raptor type robots that the transforms from a robot to a t-rexy raptor type dinosaur where the chest is actually closed up you don't see any arms and i hope you guys can't hear the neighbors talking outside and the stupid dog but if you can sorry about that and there he goes i mean i guess he's cool for kids and he and I've said this about four times now. He goes with little figures. And he definitely looks better in his robot mode. But he feels cheap. Only reason why I got him is because I saw that he was like $10 on Amazon. So that is a deal. And that's what these things should cost. I don't suggest paying more, more than $10. Wait for all of them to be on clearance. Because they all are kind of lackluster. So, bleh. This will probably be my last one. If you like this review, give me a like, give me a share, comment, subscribe. T-Man 978, out of here.